Welcome to In The Mix, sponsored by Mix Theory Studios. Art is an integral part of society. While every artist has a different story and means of expression, they all have one thing in common, the need to create and share a vision. My name is Lisa Lofton. I am the president of the Art Center Cooperative, where we are right now. I grew up originally in Kentucky, and then in middle school we moved to Florida. I originally went to school for architecture and was in that for three years, and then we had a little bit of a financial emergency in the family, so I ended up going and helping out my mother to make ends meet to get my smaller brother and sister through school. Shortly after that, I got married, and my husband is a native of Jacksonvilleian. It's been a wonderful time. There's a ton of history around here, and um, that's inspiring. I keep finding out more and more. That's to me, that's amazing. You know, you can walk around and you see all those green signs all over the city that are markers for historical. Stop and read them. And like I said, Facebook is a wonderful place to go. You'll see all different kinds of things. And I'll ask, hey, do you care if I use this photo, you know, as inspiration for a painting? Yeah, go ahead. Just, just let me see what it looks like. I did one that was a gas station that was on US 17. And I reposted it afterwards. I got the most amazing story. My son right now, he's getting ready to do a big show, but he would often ask, am I gonna be able to make a go with this as a career? And the big thing is it's, it's so therapeutic and you love it. If you love something that much, you're going to be successful at it. I mean, you might have to do a little bit of something on the side, but it's so much better to do something that makes you happy and fulfilled versus, you know, just going out and trying to do your nine to five. So even if you do your, you know, eight to five or whatever, and I mean, pursue the art, you know, when you can. You're the, the hardest on yourself as far as your art goes. And it's so subjective and you just don't know what other people are gonna see in it. And usually sometimes somebody will talk about one of your pieces that you're like, you know, I wasn't really crazy about that piece, but the they're, they'll see something in it that you didn't see in it. I told my dad when I used to work for him at with our European linen business, I was like, what can we do, you know, to really help our community or do something to help people? And he was like, well, we're putting money into the, into the economy, blah, blah. And I was like, well, that doesn't seem like enough, you know? So I started working with that, which gave me, like I said, the small business experience, everything from accounting to graphic design, you name it. You kind of do everything. And um, I think there was four of us running two, two stores, one in Las Vegas and one in uh, Park City, Utah. So um, when he passed, I was like, I was offered the opportunity to go to Las Vegas, which I didn't want to leave Jacksonville for Las Vegas, even, there was, even though there was a store out there and some opportunity. So we ended up closing down that store. And then I was like, what do I do now? And and my mother, she painted with us when we were little, and my sister paints. My son, he started going to UNF for the arts, and I said, everybody else is doing it. And that's something that I always you know, wanted to get back to. I used to paint when I was younger and do it for my architectural practice as well. I started going to the Art League of Jacksonville and um, just started painting. Cookie's been around the art scene here for quite a while, and uh, she walked up to me, was looking at something I was painting. She goes, doing a good job. She goes, have you thought about going to Jacksonville Art Guild? And I was like, I have not been, but it sounds interesting. So I went to that and I actually got on the board of that first. Then I came to TAC because you start meeting other people and getting involved in a lot of the exhibitions. So I went to the Art Center and they were like, oh, you know, you have this experience. We really need that help. Um, I was like, okay, so I just became vice president. Within, what was it, six months, I think, the president, the current president, decided to get out. She had gotten sick. So here I am two years later. <laughs> it's just really wonderful to have the opportunity to, you know, have some influence as far as helping other people within the city. There's, you know, so many different organizations or even helping people that are trying to pursue their dreams giving them advice and knowing where to send them. And I'm in a position right now to where I can put the time in. I can be found here at the Art Center Cooperative. I also have my own website, lisaloftonart.com. 
if you, anybody has any questions or if any artists out there have questions about the different organizations here in the city, I mean, feel free. We're at info at tacjacksonville.org. If you want to be an artist, don't let anything stop you. Find more creatives and heavy hitters in the Jacksonville area on mtsjax.fm and our series on YouTube, In the Mix.